going to be... Might be better to cut it. Yeah, I think so. And then you'd have our, our artificial ones, you know. Yeah. Which I think would be great, so. Yeah. And I'll show you the... the um, yeah, we had wiring like that. We had wiring like mm -hmm. that. here with Marge and Katie at uh, Reggie and we're looking at the job list and we couldn't help but notice that we have an onlooker. <laughs> I mean the fact that we're all having a normal conversation with a bald eagle in our midst it's, it's the there. craziest thing yeah. ever. Reggie or not. Marge Gibson has been in the environmental and you know bird um, uh, preservation business for many 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 years. She actually worked on the Exxon Valdez oil spill. She rescued this bird from that Exxon Valdez oil it's spill. It's 50 years old. So, it's like up the top, it's like rolling in some. Yeah. Oh yeah. Up, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Um, and if we pull it out a little ways, then we can use it to pull it out. We have foster parents for almost every raptor species that we use. Um, so we have eagle fosters, we have red tail fox, barred owl fosters, gray horn fosters. So we really, we don't get a lot of imprints at all. Um, they come in as babies. Um, he had such extensive damage that he had to come back in um, and kind of cut it close with that window. So um, so he's been here for many years um, and he's a really good education bird, loves going on programs and doing his job. So yeah. We're all standing here waiting for Katie to grab a bald eagle and drag him out. He's got him. And uh, it was supposed to be raining, and that didn't materialize for the workday. So we came back out and started to work. And Char wants me to come out because apparently a lot of work got done today. Let's take a look. All right, what's the status, Gladys? Couple of the uh, gazebos have already been we weeded. The frog pond <laughs> has already been <laughs> weeded. The pasturing place, the uh, trees oh, been look cut at down. That. It's been pressure washed. Look at that. The, the <laughs> cabin has all been shaped. Look at this sucker. This thing, yeah. Um, so yeah, the gazebo amazing. What? The, all, all the weeding. Look at reality. Oh, yeah. It was all weeds before. Oh, remember that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, honey. Double the list. Yeah. <laughs> look at, oh, look at this. This is perfect right here. So they made perches for little birds. And then the fence line will come across here. And we're debating what we're gonna do here. All right, it's day three. Trying to get some synergy here. We're at a standstill until we can get some lumber to do the pasturing enclosure and the shed because we need a, a floor for the shed. So we're going to order that. But a lot of tools coming today. We're going to work on these enclosures. Um, two of them they've already started on, but we're going to sand today so they can be ready for painting. 
and then we got some sign working going on but look everyone's working independently and check this out I'm totally interrupting you this is Linda and Rick Fritcher they were at our first project at Florida Cavern State Park back in February of 2020. Mm -hmm. They've seen us grow. They've blown us off for over the last year. Yeah. We last <laughs> saw them in the at the beginning of May. It's day four, but it's almost like day two and a half because of the rain. We got incredible rain yesterday, and that was an absolute deluge. So we learned that half of this enclosure right here is without a concrete floor like the other half. So we're gonna pour some footings that are gonna be flush to the, to the level of the concrete so that when we build the enclosure, they got something to sit on. Yep. So we pulled a lot um, out, thistles, things like that, which just start naturally here in this environment. Yeah, it's incredible. This whole place is starting to spruce up beautifully. It's the end of week one. It's Red Shirt Friday. And it has been absolutely awesome. We've had some challenges with the weather, uh, but it has we've, we've fought over it and we've overcome it and we have gotten so much done. So much to show <laughs> you. Wow, this place looks incredible. And then of course, now we can see back to the shed. birthday people happy birthday it was mine on the 2nd of August and we have our cookout
Oh, it's Monday, week two. We have so much to do, but this place is looking amazing. You can see that enclosure has been completed, but the passerine enclosure is the big flick for the week, so we're putting more people on that. And then uh, the shed is gonna get wrapped up. Uh, the passerine enclosure, that's the main reason we came. And it took a little bit for us to get supplies, but now that we've got most of the supplies, we're gonna attack that this week. We've got five days to complete that enclosure, and then um, everything else is gravy because we've done so much already. Running around with my clipboard. working on the basically the trim all the way around the bottom of this little cottage enclosure here because critters get under there and so we're trying to put this stuff underneath this is called the passerine pass off <laughs> they slide the boards in and then they keep framing inside. Okay. Uh, one and a half inch self-tapping uh, hardy board screws. Yeah. Okay, we need one box of those. Big box. Been a bigger box. It's been a box. They've been talking like this ever since about 7.45 this morning. What do we need? We need to do this. And it's been, we've been buzzing on this this entire morning. <laughs> Ken was in a serious quandary because he had to tell his lovely bride that she cut this a quarter inch too long. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was Paul and Mike. Mike. Yeah, just that tussle. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be in such better shape now. We had an interloper on our project, so we have to go let him out in the field. Look at that little guy. Long day. This is day two of week two, and uh, I never picked this thing up today. It has been a long day. We've got WSAW Wausau Channel 7 News is here. They interviewed us, so we're gonna post that on our Facebook page tonight. So it should already be there by the time you see this video. And then take a look in here. This place is starting to take shape. So, small birds in here, more small birds in here, and we've got that tree that we just converted into a perch. More small birds, more small birds. We're gonna take that opening, uh, that's like a little storage area, and we're gonna move it over here and then cover this up. Look at that, through popper leadership, these guys 
<laughs> you know, these guys are fantastic. Great great <laughs> it's got bluebirds and robins, passerines, and they're ready to be released. They've been grown up as babies here, so we're going to catch their release. Oh, one's coming back. incredible amount of work going on in, uh, in the passerine building. It's day four of week two. That means we have one day left um, plus today. And we are furiously working to start uh, getting everything finished. We need to get that screen up. We need to get the um, doors up. And then we need to make sure that there's no place for a bird to light on wood or anything because small birds, when they have find a little place that's next to screen to, to sit up on a ledge, they can damage their feathers. So Marge Gibson's um, goal is to make sure that every bird that leaves the facility is full feathered. The screen is gonna be a challenge because we have to send someone to the top and we're gonna run screen over the top of the uh, the roofing system that we have in there because when the snow sits on it, it's going to want to push down. So we want that strength to be there, and then so we're we're closing up all the gaps to make sure that we can just run the lengths, the four foot lengths of uh, screen up there. We'll uh, we'll overlay them a little bit, and then um, and then we need to start doing the sidewalls too. We got a ton of work to do in the next day and a half. artists we have them in every group there's still more to see but look at this one I think you guys are gonna have to get in there so we can get a picture not bad for a bunch of volunteers. Look at this thing. It does not stand in the hole this time. Am I, is it okay for me to like shake it like it's sturdy? It's kind it's of sturdy. It hasn't set yet. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this trim. So we need some swing here. We gotta get it on. Let's swing. swing. We wanna make a perch, a swinging perch for a bald eagle. You <laughs> <laughs> a bald eagle. Kushka looks out there, still, still standing there, wondering if she's ever going to go in here. But it doesn't look bad at all. That's awesome. You guys rock. Alright, so we think we have a plan. We need to use this screen in smaller sections. And then that's why we're cutting them in smaller pieces, because it just warps and warbles all the way down. And it makes it pretty un unmanageable. So we're cutting smaller sections like this one and that one and uh, we're making some headway
we've got about as many bodies as we possibly can have in there. These, this is the cutting team. Cutting team. Cutting team. And this is about the flattest, the best. And nicest that this will ever look because mm -hmm. it's horribly deformed when you try to. These are the best. It up. This is the best roll so far. It's, is it really? Yes. It is extremely. It's within one, uh, one square. So that's within a quarter inch. So we're happy about that. have lunch it's friday it's the last day and marge got us pizza and we're stuffed and she's so thoughtful and giving she just can't stop giving to us which is just so wonderful we want a nap <laughs> yeah we're having the the pizza pizza coma so what we're doing now is we're starting to clean up yep and uh we're starting to do there's some last minute landscaping um, but we're starting to gather up all the stuff. Uh, we've got some extra hardy board that theoretically can go back to Menards if we yep. don't need it. Um, there's some extra lumber, some extra door frames yep. that and are so there. We're not throwing any lumber away until we are finished. So that way we don't have to go dumpster diving or anything like that. And then in there, they're hanging doors, doing the ceilings, doing the ceilings of, uh, with the wire, which is brutal. And, uh, and they just there's a door you can see right that the guys are working on it's a it's going to be a hatch that pops open that lets them um scoop out snow because if snow gets in there during the winter time with that screen if it comes through then they're going to need to be able to scoop that out but also it's a way to get in some supplies and stuff like that so hopefully they'll make use of that that was the like, genius plan yep uh, Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you so much. been pruned and shaped. This walkway, you could barely walk through without having flowers and stuff come out all over the place. Weeds are going up through up these stairs, growing up through these stairs. About five feet of the uh, tree was trimmed. I never, uh, we never did it before. Did you do I it before? before you did? Oh, good. And none of this you could see. You could not see any of the walkways. They and us did not know that the fire pit was even here. There's they, a, there was a fire. There there's was a, a fire pit, and uh, Brad said they had a fire in it about two years ago, and they haven't been able to see it since. Were the rocks still there? Yep.
I am gonna miss you so much. Thank you. You've had such an impact for well, everybody. Well, here. I tell you, I just, <laughs> I just, oh my gosh. Yeah, you changed, you changed my life. You really changed our life. You, you just, affected our life too. You, you did, know? absolutely. And you did. I'm going to reach out to you once a month and you're going to tell me what I'm work gonna you need you. done. I'm gonna you're going to tell me what you need yeah. done and we're going to post it and we're going to yeah. send it out to our people and we're going to see yeah. if we can get you some good. And there we go. That was it. We said our, our goodbyes and um, we had the most extraordinary time. I feel like I'm kind of changed. You, because of the whole experience? Just the whole with... experience and to see somebody who you can just tell um, connects with these animals. On and such a unique level. It's just, it's something so truly special that you don't get it unless you, you've witnessed it. It was just magical. I mean, everybody literally just well, not literally, but figuratively had heart and soul in this. They all had something they were good at and they did it and they gave it every ounce of their being to it. Um, I feel like I feel like Reggie's better because of us and I feel like all of us are better because of Reggie. Yeah, definitely an amazing project and I, um, I, I can't even believe this is how it ended because um, honestly, that passerine was the most complex project we've done because it had a lot of compartments and special requirements because of birds and yeah it was a I think it was more complicated than we thought it was going to be but in true YGV style we got it done we got it done and it was funny because I was sitting there going she would ask me do you, you know so do you think we're gonna get it done and I go honestly I don't know I, I, I don't know because there's so much to do but through the fortitude and the muscle and the stamina of all of our volunteers, you know, those guys were incredible. Um, we did get it done, and we actually got it done by 4:30 today, which is a normal stopping time. Yeah. So um, we got it done. We did, and it looks fantastic. And that place is it, it has it has had a true farm makeover. <laughs> So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and um, click the like and subscribe button. Share it with your family and friends and come and see us on the road. Get a, uh, we'll put the link to Reggie down below. And if you uh, would like to, they would love to have donations. And we're going to work on an opportunity for RVers to be able to hopefully stop there and help out as well. Absolutely. And remember, don't just RV. Our, our volunteer. volunteer.